fresh real love. There's, there's one more part of the service that I think they need to do. Love, love, love. Fresh winds oh, yeah. oh, Amen. You know, God, fresh you know the Holy Spirit is on target when you feel it, you hear it, and he'll fresh line it up. I'm going to ask Pastor Shaquana just to come. I'm, Dr. Ross, real can you join love. me? Pastor Madeline, can you join me? Um, and if you guys could just get, get uh, just touch and agree. Because I, I think the hard part about being an apostolic woman is that you, is that people label you as aggressive and people label you as critical when it's just the hammer of God that, that has been extended unto you. And so I, 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 uh, I'm going to ask your husband also to come because even though I'm his covering, he is your covering. Amen. I want him just to, just to release over you and then we're going to release um, the women, amen, um, because th this is the season where God is going to bring it into alignment where they will begin to understand why you are different. <laughs> Come on, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 So, stand in agreement with Apostle Coles. We want to affirm you today as an apostle of the Lord in his church. Hallelujah. So, so, so she comes from a, a lineage of leaders and pastors. Um, her grandparents are pastors, and she's well connected from Arkansas um, and a lot of other places. And so one of the things that we wanted to clarify is that we're going to announce it today, um, but we're going to officially um whatever we want to call it, amen, so that her family can be involved. And so today, we, we are just affirming, laying hands, and pushing you forward, amen. And so, so Apostle, your, your husband know you well enough, and so he said, we want to do it right so that nobody get mad and nobody get offended, amen. Um, and so let me just say this, and I'm going I'm to pass it, uh, I'm going to pass it over, amen. <laughs> but we give you permission to be you. We are not intimidated by you. We honor you, your wisdom and your counsel. That you are not just a woman over finances, uh, but you are a woman to bring the economics into the kingdom and teach women how to be women, their poise uh, and their standard and their excellence. Uh, and so we say, and, and we just reverberate what the earth has already been groaning and moaning for, that we need the fullness of on the inside of you. And so we put a demand right now to come forth, to stand up, stand strong, and to stand out in Jesus' name. And the Lord is going to heal you from the pain of being misunderstood, and he's going to heal you from the pain of being mislabeled. Uh, and even the crooked things that were said and the uh, twisted things that were said based on actions that did not align with their perception and their religious standard of where a woman should and the Lord says he's, gonna, he's beginning to open up in front of you uh, doors of opportunity. And your voice is going to be heard over the airways. Ah, yeah, because the wisdom that you have is not just for the church, but it's for the world indeed. And so as God begins to open up doors of opportunity and your voice will be heard over the airways, there will be coming to you, I hear the word, a new flock. You will have a flock in the church, but you're also going to have a flock outside of the church. You're going to have a flock of people that come to you for wisdom and counsel and understanding. And you'll be able to influence how they govern their lives. Lift your hands, apostle. We thank you for healing the heart. You will not be a wounded leader. We thank you for healing the heart. They just simply didn't understand. Say as the Lord said. Say as the Lord said. Say as the Lord said. Forgive them, Father, for they don't even know what they're doing. Forgive them, Father, because they don't even know what words they're speaking. Say as or said. this elevation glory to God because my word says the righteous 
I've found you righteous daughter and you will be bold as a lion taking on new territory you'll fear no man you'll feel no one but me because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of my wisdom and my knowledge daughter go forth and the power, might, and authority as the Holy Spirit leads you on this next journey. Hallelujah.